Uh, hey guys, this is Andy here on the Freedom 21 uh, sailboat Serenity in St. Augustine. Uh, I want to do a quick video because uh, I got a sonar uh, fish finder. This is the uh, Lawrence model for Christmas and I wanted to install it on my boat. Uh, the problem I came into was that on most sailboats, uh, your transom comes out of the water. So I'm wondering how I can do that. So uh, just some creative engineering and got a couple of things I want to show you that I think might help you if you have a similar situation. So first when I pulled out the old speedometer which was here, I expected to have a small, you know, one inch hole with a piece on the back and a piece on the front. Instead I had a big four inch hole. So I went to uh, Sailor's Exchange, it's a local store here in St. Augustine, and they have a lot of great parts there. I got a piece of fiberglass from the motorboat, I cut it to the right size, and I mounted the bracket uh, for the sonar to this. I have uh, 5200 uh, silicone sealant on there as well, and so this is actually going to go ahead and cover the hole, and I'm going to screw this and seal it onto the boat. Let's get started. Alright guys, so I have the holes drilled for... Uh, the new plate and the mount to go on. I'm using the uh, 3M Marine Adhesive Sealant. Uh, I got the Fast Cure 5200. It stays tacky for about an hour and it cures in 24 hours versus curing in seven days like the other stuff. So I'm going to finish getting the stuff on here and then screw it down. Okay, so the instructions for installing the transducer uh, are to place it on the transom and they want it in the water line. Uh, now, the problem with the sailboat is that the transom typically comes out of the water for speed. Uh, if you look at my neighbor's boat over here, you can see how much the bottom of his boat comes out of the water. So, if I do any drilling, uh, it's going to make water come into the boat and it wouldn't replace it low enough anyway. So, we did a little creative engineering and I got a piece of aluminum uh, square tube, a piece of the same fiberglass I used for the top. And essentially I drilled uh, two holes to mount this to the side of the boat and then I made a plate to mount the transducer mount to. Uh, on this side of the boat, which you can't see because of the motor, I have two holes previously drilled, uh, which I'm going to drill out again and go ahead and attach this with uh, some bolts and some epoxy. Let's get started. Okay, so here I'm going to show the two holes we already had pre-drilled from before. Uh, I went and I took the drill bit and took all the old silicone out and you can see that I also roughed it up with uh, some sandpaper. And then I used uh, acetone to clean out the rest of the residue. You can get this at any, uh, you know, CBS, Walgreens, any of those stores. Make sure though it is 100% acetone. That's going to break down the old silicone. All right, guys, we got the uh, homemade mount installed now. We got the two screws going through the hole. Uh, they're sealed up tight. And then we have the transom mount that came with the package down in the water. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show the finished product. So you can see under here we have a little cover for the wire goes into the boat and everything's hooked up and zip tied off and the transducer is installed. If you look over here, this is all mounted now and showing us the bottom. Fantastic. Well that's Andy on Serenity and that's it. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Thanks.